In today's Medico Apps Masterclass, we will learn about Renin Angiotensin System. Renin Angiotensin System starts with the production of angiotensinogen from the liver. This angiotensinogen has to be converted into angiotensin 1. This happens with the help of renin which is secreted by the JG cells or the justra glomerular cells. The JG cells produce renin in response to three factors. The most important factor for production of renin, cell, renin by JG cells is the renal perfusion pressure. The decrease in the renal perfusion pressure is one of the most potent factors that contribute to the production of renin. So how does the decrease renal perfusion pressure happens? Whenever the blood pressure will fall, either due to the decrease of blood volume or any other factor, this will lead to the decrease of renal perfusion pressure. And once the renal perfusion pressure goes down, JG cells will be given a signal to produce more renin. The second factor is the load of sodium in the distal tubules. As the concentration of sodium falls in the distal tubule, this is sensed <coughs> by macula densa. And macula densa, once, it's, once it senses that the concentration of sodium is less in the distal tubule, it will again send signal back to JG cells for the production of renin. And finally, the sympathetic discharge via beta-1 adrenergic receptors. I again repeat the sympathetic discharge from beta-1 adrenergic receptors again directly signal JG cells for the production of renin. Now, so you understand that the angiotensinogen is converted into angiotensin 1 with the help of renin. This angiotensin 1 again has to be converted into angiotensin 2. This process takes place at in the lung where in the lung the production of ACE enzyme is done. ACE is angiotensin converting enzyme. So ACE is produced by the lungs and hence the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 takes place in lung. This has been asked very frequently in various examinations. Let's look at the functions of angiotensin 2 which is the main uh, hormone which acts in the renin angiotensin system. Angiotensin 2 acts on the systemic blood vessels and heart causing vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction is one of the most prominent action of angiotensin 2. Next, it activates adrenal cortex and increases aldosterone secretion. Now, aldosterone secretion once activated will cause increase in the renal sodium and water retention. So, angiotensin 2 not only acts on the blood vessels causes vasoconstriction but also acts on the adrenal cortex to increase aldosterone secretion. This aldosterone will cause sodium and water retention. Then it acts on the afferent and efferent arterioles and cause constriction. So it is causing systemic constriction. Also in afferent and efferent arterioles the constriction happens. Now the GFR is not really very reduced it has a very complex actually effect on the GFR and the blood, blood flow. But eventually there will be a little reduction in the GFR. Finally, via AT1 receptors in the SFO and OVLT. SFO stands for subfornical organ and OVLT stands for organ, organum vasculosum of lamina terminalis. So, via 81 receptors in SFO and OVLT in brain, they will cause increased thirst and systemic vasoconstriction. Now, these two receptors, uh, these 81 receptors in SFO and OVLT have gained a lot of importance in these latest years because they contribute overall into a lot of fluid bal uh, balance via hormone and also regulate appetite to a certain extent. So, 81 receptor via 81 receptors in SFO both are in brain SFO and OVLT they will cause increased thirst and vasoconstriction. So these are the four critical functions of angiotensin 2. 
this angiotensin 2 is converted into angiotensin 3. This angiotensin 3 has actually only 40% of the pressure activity of angiotensin 2 but has 100% of the activity in terms of formation of aldosterone. So angiotensin 3 will act on the adrenal cortex to increase the aldosterone secretion and also it will have 40% of the vasoconstriction activity or other activity, the pressure activities of angiotensin 2. Finally, this angiotensin 3 will be converted into angiotensin 4. So this is the renin angiotensin system, the production of renin and various axon of angiotensin 2. Let's start looking the effects of renin angiotensin system system wise. On cardiovascular system, the most prominent effect is vasoconstriction, also some prothrombatic activity because angiotensin 2 leads to adhesion and aggregation of platelet is seen. So for cardiovascular, vasoconstriction is the most prominent action. Also questions has been asked that angiotensin 2 is prothrombotic. In renal, there is an increased sodium reabsorption and the GFR and renal blood flow, there is a lot of complex, uh, there is not a direct uh, effect. Some, some of the components of renin angiotensin system actually increase the GFR, some decrease the GFR and eventually there will be a complex effect of renal blood flow on, of renal angiotensin system on renal blood flow or GFR. In adrenal glands, it leads to the stimulation of adrenal cortex leading to the increased aldosterone production. This increased aldosterone production will lead to sodium and water retention. At neural level, there is an increased thirst, increased ADH production, increased ACTH production and decreased receptor from the baroreceptor complex. So these are the effects on renal uh, neural system. So increased thirst, increased ADH secretion, increased ACTH secretion. For adipose tissue, it modulates fat mass expansion via increase of adipose tissue lipogenesis and decrease of lipolysis. So it will increase in the fat component of the body by increase in the lipogenesis and decrease of the lipolysis. So these are the various system wise effect of renin angiotensin system. Let's end the master class with review of the important points which has been often asked on renin angiotensin system in various PG endurance examination. Renin is a protease enzyme secreted by JG cells of afferent arteriole. Renin splits leukine valine bond of angiotensinogen converting into angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 has no established function and is solely angiotensin 2 precursion. Angiotensin 1 gets it phenylene histine bond split and is converted into angiotensin 2 by ACE in, ACE in lung. Angiotensin 2 is degraded into angiotensin 3. Structurally, angiotensin 1 is decapeptide, angiotensin 2 is octapeptide and angiotensin 3 is hexapeptide. Angiotensin 4 is a hexapeptide and has very less pressure activity but wide array of activity on CNS mainly controlling the thirst part and you know controlling the fluid balance with the help of CNS. Let's look at the brain teaser question for today. Angiotensin 2 is formed in kidney, true or false? If you know the correct answer for this question write in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and once you subscribe, hit on the bell icon so that you can get a notification whenever we upload a new Medico Apps Masterclass. Check out this next Medico Apps Masterclass which I think will be very helpful for you.